If he was a person, he'd be in a psychiatric ward. Rusty is Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. One moment he is so unpredictable, he'll be loving on you, and the next minute he goes after you with a vengeance. Stay. Hello. Hi. Stay. That's Rusty. That's Jekyll's Rusty. getting your spot. I had the feeling that Rusty was going to go for me. I had to be very, very aware of my body language. Rusty had his eye on me at all times. Nice Hello, to meet very you. nice to meet you too. We're so oh happy God. you're here. Good. I have no idea. What did I tell you? No. To combat Rusty's aggression, Fran uses her own brand of discipline. One, two, Thank you. Stay. Oh, do you count? Do yes. the one, two, three? Uh -huh. My mom raised me that way, so I figured I'd raise the dogs that way. <laughs> wow. All right, then. OK, what happens on three if he doesn't? He gets a swat. Well, anybody will get a little swat, and I'm disappointed in you, and I'll walk away, and that hurts their feelings. OK. The way Fran is disciplining the dogs is highly, highly detrimental and actually potentially dangerous. People who use this kind of punishment for their dogs don't realize that they're actually making the behavior worse. And they actually only make an insecure dog even more insecure. Let's talk about Rusty. What, I, what I'm concerned about is how you discipline him. One, two. When you lie a dog on its side and you hold it down no. until the dog calms down, mm -hmm. that is called the alpha roll. It's based on research that was done with wolves. But here's where the flaw comes in. The alpha wolf very rarely physically pushes the other wolf down. The submission is freely given. So what are you demonstrating when you put your dog into a submissive role? I'm a bully. You're a bully. I was really devastated to find out that my discipline was doing more harm than good. And the number one thing, alpha roles are dangerous because they can force dogs to bite. When you put a terrified dog into a position where it feels even more threatened, one day it's going to bite you. Now, he is highly nervous, unconfident, fearful. If he was a person, he'd be in a psychiatric ward. It's very worrying to see that behavior. It is because his biting, I mean, he has a severe bite history that if you were to give him up, oh, there, there's no way he's going to survive in a pound. You that's, can't adopt him out to someone else. He, that's he's... why I wouldn't do it. No. Because it'd be just like killing him. Of, of course. But if you don't get the biting under control, and you're at the RV park and he bites somebody or bites somebody out in or out of your home, you will, you will have no control because he will be put down. This problem is very, very serious. Tell me why you feel like this. Because I can't help him. He can't talk to me and tell me what he went through, that he would be so injured and to where it's so difficult for him to survive. It, yeah. just, it rips me up. Sorry. <laughs> Before she begins training, Victoria wants Rusty to have a thorough checkup to make sure his aggression is not exacerbated by a medical issue. When I found out we were going to the vet with Rusty, I was really scared. I was very frightened of what the consequences would be if he actually bit someone. We brought Rusty in because I want him to have a thyroid panel done on him. Okay. Um, I just want to check that he doesn't have a thyroid condition that's okay. maybe exacerbating his aggressive, aggressive response. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, why don't we um, get him up here? Within seconds of getting into the examination room, Rusty was very, very uncomfortable. Do you think he's going to bite he'll you? He'll bite me. He's mad at me. I don't want you, him to bite you. This is a recipe for disaster. Don't worry, Richard. Don't stress. We'll be fine. All right. Calm down. <laughs> The veterinarian suggested that we use Elizabethan collar on him, so the last resort was to have vet techs put the collar on him, use a blanket, 
and hold him there. Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. It brought tears to my eyes because here was a dog going through real trauma. But it had to be done. I just knew he was going to bite one of the people at the vet. The veterinarian saw that this was too much for Rusty, so she suggested that they sedate him in order to get the blood. It'd be much less stressful for him, safer yeah. for everybody. So yeah. if you guys are fine with it, I'll go ahead and give him a little bit of sedation, and then we'll just reverse it when we're done. OK, where's Mama? Dogs like Rusty don't like going to the vet. They're absolutely terrified, completely out of their comfort zone. And so they react accordingly. Finally, the sedative kicks in, and Rusty starts to relax. Here. I'm right here, honey. Okay, so just because he can bite with the sedation, I'm okay. gonna go ahead and muzzle him. Oh, it's okay, honey. I know, honey. I know. I think Fran was very relieved to see that, you know, Rusty sedated finally, obviously calmed down. Much, much better for him, much less traumatic, and enabled the veterinarian to get the information she needed. So he's resting comfortably and waking up right now. We'll send him home with you when he's awake, and then I'll be in touch with you to go over the results. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Much. You so it was much. nice right, meeting guys. you. And you, thank you so much. I think right now the waiting game is what's getting to me. I'm really hoping that it all comes back negative and we can just deal with the behavior. I really, I just can't wait for that phone to ring. While they are waiting to get Rusty's thyroid results from the veterinarian, Victoria wants to begin addressing his aggression with behavioral training. I want to have a place where Rusty can go to when people come over, which is going to limit the chances of him lunging and biting at somebody. Okay, he loves being under the table, but being under the table means that when somebody comes through the door, he can go. He can go for it. I want to teach him now that when people come to the door, that he goes onto his mat. Oh, yes. Rusty's gonna do what Rusty wants to do, and I'm really afraid he's gonna bite her. First, Victoria drops treats, pairing a simple mat. command with the action. Good boy, Matt. Oh, good boy. As I'm saying the word, I'm throwing the treat. He's on the mat, Matt. Good boy. So I'm building up the association of the word with the place. Now, she has Fran take over, adding an additional element. I want Rusty to learn to relax in different situations, at the home and at the RV park. I've given Fran a verbal cue to use. Relax. And that is the word relax. Good boy. Well done. Once Rusty has built up the association, Fran tries the command alone. Matt. He just kind of stood there and went, I don't think so. But she just said to wait. Bless you. Good boy. That's it. That's it. Can you see that little brain working it out? Mm. This mat training is using positive reinforcement to help lessen Rusty's aggression. So much better than alpha rolling, which only makes him worse. This is brilliant. Yeah. This is brilliant. My Rusty is so amazing. I am absolutely beside myself at how quickly he's learning. And then to release him, just say, OK, and walk away. OK. And then walk away. With Rusty making huge strides, Victoria has Fran use the same techniques with the other dogs. Speckles, Matt. Good girl. Doodles, come. Doodles. Good girl. Sit. Matt. All the work that I'm doing with my dogs is to make a calmer environment in this house. Because the calmer the environment, the better the dogs are going to react, especially Rusty. Before she leaves Fran and Richard on their own, Victoria wants to find out the final results on Rusty's thyroid tests. I've been a nervous wreck since we left the vet. My stomach's been so upset. I 
Hi there. Hey, it's Victoria Stillwell. Um, I'm calling up to find out about Rusty's thyroid results. Yeah. Um, yeah, everything looks really good. Um, we did a full panel and his liver and kidney values look fine. And his two thyroid blood results were both within the normal range. So very normal. Everything looks really good. Very good. Take care. All right, bye. He's okay. When I heard that he was okay and that all the issues we've got we're going to be able to take care of, I've never been happier in my life. So now we can we can rule that out. We know he's got a clean bill of health. <laughs> so that behavioral therapy is going to be able to be much more beneficial. Okay? Good. Sounds good. Come on. With Victoria gone, Fran has been hard at work keeping all the dogs on the mat when guests arrive. Today, my mother-in-law and my son are coming over. This is the ultimate test when they knock on the door. Matt. Speckles. Rusty. Stay. Stay. It was amazing when they came to the door. They knocked and everyone just kind of went to the mat. It was awesome. I couldn't believe it. I don't think I ever expected it to be that quiet. Oh, they're so cute. They're so well behaved. Just, Look, it's such a difference. It's amazing. No oh. jumping, no biting. I think my mother-in-law and my son were both really taken back by the fact that the dogs were just kind of there on the mat and quiet. And I think they were a bit in shock. Let's go. Come on, let's go.